Nichols. Uh, Robin's coming with me today uh, to help me uh, film and uh, put up the jump because um, my training on Tuesday uh, has been cancelled because it's really nice weather so we might be jumping outside but I'm a little unsure of how exa exactly how windy it's gonna be so um, you guys will see if we're jumping inside or outside. Hi. Hey. So uh, it's quite windy outside, so I think I'm probably gonna um, go for the inside option, but we'll see after I've brushed him if I'm gonna build inside or outside. side course and uh, it's uh, it's not that it's really windy but uh, suddenly there's just some strong wind so I think we should, are just gonna set it up inside better to be safe than sorry and the door that you normally take the jumps out is also locked so uh, <laughs> less work to uh, take the jumps to the inside arena as well so we're gonna do that so I'm gonna do a voiceover for this uh, training session and as you will see soon, uh, Calippo's hindquarters were not following properly. So uh, in this session, there's a bit of uh, Calippo sass, um, which you're going to get to see right here. Uh, there was a couple of small ones. And uh, yeah, when he first box is not too bad. Um, so we just started with some cross rails. I realized that uh, I had walked the distance kind of funny. So it was kind of um, tight. But... Um, it wasn't too tight. We could still kind of jump it. Um, but I decided then to keep it across rail when uh, the front one across rail when I put up the other one uh, just because that made it a bit easier on the both of us. Because the main uh, goal with this section was just to jump a bit higher, which we haven't done in a while. Uh, so, yeah, he's jumping very well. He's, uh, we're finding a good rhythm uh, through the combination, even though it's tight. And um, it felt as if I was sitting really poorly on him, uh, but I'm not sitting too bad, actually, when I look back on it. There's a lot I can work on, uh, especially when it comes to my legs. But I am um, yeah, quite happy because it doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. Uh, I really need to work on getting my heels down. Uh, my heels are definitively the biggest, um, yeah, the largest fault on the when I'm jumping. I can see this. Um, and here we've just put up an oxer. And I'm pretty proud of myself because usually when it starts going over 90, I become quite, uh, I become a bit afraid of the jumps because, um, Clip when I had an accident where we fell through a jump and after that I became really insecure when it started becoming around a meter. Uh, so I'm really proud of myself that this whole session I didn't become afraid of a single jump. And um, yeah, that I was gutsing towards all of the jumps without any hesitation. Um, so yeah. But that's also the reason why we haven't been jumping that large. Uh, I think we haven't been jumping anything mm, over a meter for the past two years at least. Um, 
And here we have a, a stop. I'm very happy I kept myself on on this stop because it was quite a mean stop. But he jumped us straight afterwards, as you can see here. Uh, but the stop was because we came in on the completely wrong step. So I'm actually quite happy he stopped and didn't make one of his uh, kangaroo jumps, which he does sometimes. And that's also a good thing for me to know that he will stop when the jumps are a bit higher. Because I've been very worried about that. That if we come in on the wrong um, on the wrong distance that he will not stop and still try to jump the jump. Because that's how uh, we fell the last time. And we didn't injure ourselves. I just, I just became very afraid after that. Because I realized things can go wrong. As you see, I have some slow slow mos. Um, and um, here he didn't quite have the height in, uh, so we're just working on getting the height in and not getting too close because there we got too close. Um, but yeah, he's as I said, he's jumping very well. And here we're stopping again, but this stop was a bit better. I kind of felt this one coming. Uh, I really felt already uh, meters beforehand that uh, it was not going to work and so we did it one last time just so that um, we could both leave with a good feeling. I wanted to put it one notch higher but after the last stop I kind of was like let's just end on a good note and he was getting tired and I was getting tired and I was just very very happy. I think the jump was between 105 and 110, I'm not 100% sure. But I was just ecstatic that I didn't become afraid of any of the jumps. And uh, you can just see me. Uh, I'm completely radiant and extremely happy. I'm very rusty when oh, we're jumping already. I can feel it on myself that I'm not sitting in a very good position, but he's very brave and he's uh, he actually stopped twice today, which is actually a good thing because normally he doesn't stop, he just takes kind of dangerous jump, well, jumps that will be dangerous if it's over 80 centimeters. So he's smart enough to stop when we come in wrong. So yeah, I was very, very happy with him. I become very wimpy over the couple of years. Um, past four years become more and more wimpy because we had a few accidents um, so I'm happy that I had no issues I think it was 1.5 maybe 1.10 but we'll see uh, we kind of measured it on Robin so we're gonna <laughs> measure it to the point we measured on Robin when we get home um, so yeah pretty happy with it pretty happy with it we haven't jumped over a meter or we haven't really jumped at all for the past year so I'm pretty happy that it went as well as it did and um, now I'm just gonna finish up with Calippo yeah okay for this <laughs> okay so we're on our way home um, and it was a pretty good session um, we haven't really been jumping anything over 90 for uh, a long time because um, for several reasons we've been in, in um, a lesson group where not a lot of people have been able to or wanted to jump any higher than 90 and also because um, for the past three years I haven't been really been doing a lot of jumping and uh, that's because we had uh, quite a it wasn't a bad fall, but it was a fall that was bad enough that it made me a bit afraid of jumping. So I really had to build up my confidence when it comes to jumping again. Uh, so uh, even though we used to jump uh, jump um, jumps up to 130, I started becoming yeah a bit of a a bit of a wimp in the, the past three years. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy that I wasn't actually scared of any of the jumps today. Not even when he had a couple of stops. 
Um, but the stops are actually also um, gave me more confidence because the fall we had came because he didn't he 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 didn't stop when he came in on the wrong stride. He didn't stop and. Um, we kind of just fell into the jump because he tried so hard to jump it. Um, so yeah, it, it, this session really gave me a lot of confidence back and I'm, <laughs> I'm extremely happy with it. I probably look like a scarecrow because we haven't been jumping, as I said, we haven't been jumping anything higher than uh, 80, 90 for such a long time that, um, yeah, it, but it was such a rush and I was so happy and I probably looked like a scarecrow on top but um, we'll see when I see the film back but yeah we're going home now and um, I'll see you guys later I'm still uh, uploading a special video video on the 16th so you should check come back uh, you should check back for that uh, which is about the fact that I've owned the clip for seven years um, and yeah uh, thank you for watching please subscribe Leave a comment below with suggestions or any comment that you want to leave below and give it a thumbs up. Um, you guys are great and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.